also applies to our next speaker, Eugene resident Carol Manstrom, who lost her 18-year-old son to gun violence in 2017. On February 13th, 2017, Carol's former husband left a loaded handgun unsecured within easy access in his home. The next day, Valentine's Day, Carol's son, William Hahn Manstrom Greening, a student at Marist High School, was found dead. He had died by suicide using his father's unsecured gun. Carol has been an active supporter over the past 18 months of our work to pass safe storage in Oregon. She's here today with her younger son, Miles. And please join me in welcoming Carol Manstrom to the podium. Thank you, Henry. <clears throat> I appreciate the chance to be here today, but I wish it was under different circumstances. Just about two years ago, I lost my son, Will, to gun violence. It was an incredibly, indescribably painful experience that no parent or family should ever have to go through. It is my hope that by sharing with you today, we can make sure that other parents and families in Oregon do not suffer these losses like I have. Being a teenager can be tough, and a good parent is there to help their child make it through those tough times. But a good parent also takes steps to protect our children from themselves. We were all young ones, and we know that it's very easy for teens to make an impulsive decision that changes or can change their entire life. In the case of my son, Will, it was a decision that he'll never be able to take back. If a loaded gun was not easily accessible to him, that night, I believe he would be with us today. And this is a reality being faced by parents in Oregon today because teen suicide rates continue to rise. We can do something about this. Responsible gun owners must take steps to make sure guns don't end up in the hands of someone who can hurt themselves or others. Safe storage prevents suicides. This is common sense, and it should be the law. I'm a retired law enforcement officer. This is common sense. I carried a gun in my job for most of the years that I was a law enforcement officer. I'm here today to declare my support for Initiative Petition 40 and to call on our legislators to act. No more delays and no more excuses. It's time we did more to protect our families from gun violence and that starts with safe storage. Thank you very much.